Imagine not ever being able to read. We're going to be eating at the um, mother house and the menu is in Russian Cyrillic. It's a beginning two minutes into the workshop sensitization for our tutors of what it's like not to be able to read. The first thing that we really work toward in the back of our mind is always to build the self-esteem of a person. Being a non-reader is very difficult for people and it's a, a stigma that sticks with them for, for a long period of time. I really couldn't even read a comic book. Yeah, you know, I just got passed from one grade to the next, to the next, to the next. Believe it or not, I made it to ninth grade. He's so bright. He also is incredibly well organized. He keeps me on task. And one time he said, maybe we should change chairs. <laughs> you, know. you know, just to see what it does for people who, who come in. I mean, you almost see almost a total transformation. So much gain in uh, self-confidence. You see it physically. You see it in all, all the ways. To me, it's a wonderful ministry and it's such a good match for, for us. The purpose of all of our centers is to serve those who are underserved in each of our communities, who are the marginalized. So wherever we are, that's the population we served. Following on, on the biblical concept of love, love others as you love yourself. I think that once we begin to move ourselves out of the center of our own little world and put other people into the center of our world, you're giving of yourself for the other. It's that whole total concept that the other is the important person. That was kind of like Larry when I first got in here. Oh, I got to come in, I got to take a test. I'm going through all that again. But after a while, the sisters worked with me and it wasn't like a pressure thing. It's like, let's see what we can do. You know, this is on you, how far we can get, you know. Now I'm to where I can actually read. Love means caring about others, trying to understand others, to reach out to them to let them know that um, you care about them. For our sisters, uh, you know, we're exuding, I think, I think the loving care of Jesus and the gospel. That's our foundation point. That's out of which we operate. The feeling that um, at this age, I still have much to give because I've seen what has, you know, happened. It's just brought me a lot of joy. Anytime you give yourself uh, to a program such as our Literacy Center, the person who's doing it always gets more out of it than the person actually doing it. So you also see people who might come in a little with a little trepidation of saying, never done this before, just begin to flourish under it too. And the rapport that builds between tutor and student is just a wonderful thing to see happening. They give their time up, that's love. They don't know me, they don't owe me nothing. And they're there, you know, with open arms with, you know, no judgment. To give the gift of reading to someone is to to really change their lives.